So I've been wanting to do beef ribs, only I wanted to do something a little bit different. Something out of the norm. Beef ribs have been done to death a thousand ways, but then it dawned on me. Why not a poivre on beef ribs? Basically peppercorn sauce. They might even, in fact, have got it wrong, making steak a poivre all the time. Beef ribs should be perfect for it. They're super rich, really strong beef flavor. I think this is gonna be a perfect combination. So let's find out, starting with our beef ribs. These ribs are a byproduct of cutting boneless ribeyes. Rub them down with a little oil to help the seasoning stick. For the seasoning, keep it simple with salt and pepper. When salting them, only salt the tops. No need to salt the sides or they will be way too salty in the end. Trust me, I've made this mistake before. Then I go over them with the finest setting on the pepper mill. Once I've completely covered them in fine ground black pepper, I switch the pepper mill to its coarsest setting. So the cracks of pepper are going to be the largest here. Go over them again. Trust me, it's not gonna be too much pepper. The flavor will mellow out as it cooks. Place the ribs into an oven safe pan before wrapping with foil. These are gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about an hour and a half, give or take, depending on the size of the ribs. Yeah, those are definitely tender. So it took about an hour and 45 minutes total. These are monster beef ribs though. As far as the ones that come off of a ribeye, these are big. So um, they're gonna go back in the oven now, maybe 15 minutes, we're gonna get some color on them. They're looking a little sad right now. We're just gonna crispen up the outside and then make the sauce for them. Those have some much nicer color on them than they did earlier. This is very, very dangerous here. This pan does not sit well on this thing when there's nothing in it. The weight actually holds this down on these burners, so I'm gonna be very careful here. Uh, first, I'm gonna turn this uh, very low. Because if this falls out, this whole pan's very hot. Don't do it on one of these. Use a very stable, gas burner. We're gonna put the ribs off to the side to rest. Hopefully you can see there's a lot of fat in there. We don't need all that fat in there. So I'm gonna pour the fat out. But we do have some fond. I would like more than that, but it will do. This is where I gotta be careful. This thing is very unstable. I do not want a scalding hot pan to fall off of this burner. Okay, stay. Get some beef stock. Put that there. Now we're gonna deglaze the pan with cognac. I'm gonna turn the heat off when I pour it in. You don't want it to blow up in your face. Now we'll turn it on. Just tilt it forward. I just wanted to point out real quick, because I know I'll hear it in the comment section, that when I pour the cognac in, this is not an actual deglaze. I was more worried with the pan actually gonna fall off the burner and setting up the cameras and stuff. I didn't have my pan hot enough, but that's fine here because there's not enough fond in the pan anyway. If you do have a lot of fond in your pan, you do want a proper deglaze. So if that's the case and you pour the alcohol in and it doesn't sizzle, just dump the alcohol out, get your pan hot, and do it again, it'll be fine. In this case, it's more for flavor than it is the deglazing process. I just wanted to point that out. Now, hit the flame up a little bit more. We're gonna add in a little bit of beef stock. Like that. 
Not all of it deglazed around the sides, but that's okay. I really didn't have the pan hot enough to do a proper deglaze. You could hear when I poured the cognac in, it didn't sizzle like it's supposed to. So we'll just kind of go like this. It'll be okay. Get those bits off the bottom. And we're gonna add in some green peppercorns. A little bit of heavy cream. stock just to kind of darken the color a little bit okay I'm gonna kick the heat up a bit there now that there's some weight in the pan it's not gonna fall over on me as easily we're gonna bring that to a simmer and reduce it slightly I'm also gonna add in a couple pinches of salt. Let's turn the heat down a little bit. We don't want it boiling too hard. And the beef ribs need to rest anyway. Those are boiling hot. You can't bite into those for 10 minutes anyway. All right, so we'll put in a couple pats of butter here. And you definitely want to do this off the heat. You might not need all of both of these pets that I put in. We'll know when it's nice and glossy. That should be good. Alright guys, so I hope you guys tried this one out if you want to try some ribs that are not the norm. But these are absolutely fantastic. It can take a little bit of time to make, but it's really easy as you saw. Alright guys, if you like this content, make sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on. Remember, you can always watch my content on YouTube, Odyssey, and Rumble. And until next time, make sure to treat yourself right and cook yourself something good. Thanks so much guys.